The gentlewoman's recognized for one and a half minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to speak in support of H.R. 2297 by my colleague and friend from Houston, Congresswoman Fletcher. First, let me be clear. There seems to be some fixation from the other side that this decision should be left up to the states because the Supreme Court said that. They need to reread the opinion. It simply says it's returned to the people and their elected representatives. Last time I looked, I was an elected representative, and we all are elected representatives. So we can pass these two bills today and put them in statute and make them the law of the land. Because I can tell you, if we leave it to the states, things will be more extreme. In my home state of Texas, extremist Republicans have created a patchwork that is scary, discriminatory, and oppressive. And they are doing that to limit our right to make our own deeply personal, private health care decisions about our own bodies, together with our family and our providers. This bill would restore women's rights in Texas and across the country. It would stop Republicans from criminalizing, fining, or suing women who exercise their constitutional right to travel from state lines to obtain an abortion. This is important since many companies have announced policies that cover travel expenses for employees seeking abortion care who are not able to get them in their own home state. They are threatening businesses in Texas that they'll throw them out of Texas. This bill is necessary. We are the elected representatives. We get to decide. Thank you, and I yield back. Washington Reserves. The gentleman from Washington is recognized. Thank you, Madam 